Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel for the brand new season 27 Diablo 3 Barbarian build. So looking at this right now, we actually have kind of a top list for what are going to be the best builds for Barbarian. Even with the brand new buffs that the Barbarian just got, which is every 10th cast of Hammer of the Ancients going to unleash this giant shockwave. You guys are seeing it right here in the gameplay. Let's go over the effect. So what it does and the new buff is going to make it actually deal 10 times the amount of damage that it previously did. Uh, this is a GR100, so most of the stuff will just die once you see that giant shockwave and it looks really cool. So we're looking at the second line of orange text where it says Hammer of the Ancients hits in all directions around the Barbarian. Every 10th cast of Hammer of the Ancients unleashes a powerful shockwave. So that shock Wave will now basically clear up most of the things. Uh, that's not gonna like shred Rift Guardians, but for the most part, it will clean up the trash at about like GR 100 ish. And I say that because like if you're looking to push, you're still gonna probably be playing the older Barbarian build. But looking at the top 10, I was seeing if there, there was any like anomalies or other weird builds that have emerged since these buffs. So looking at all of the top uh, builds over, you can see it is capable of doing a GR 150. Not with this ability though, okay? It's not with the 10th class of the Hammer of Ancients new buff. We're actually still using the old world win a pull ability that ability has not been changed or updated and i'm really here just to give you guys the updated uh builds for like the uh, top tier so uh they also did buff technically the uh wrath of berserker tempest rhythm so you can see in the orange text uh hitting enemies generates a stack of tempest rhythm after activating wrath of berserker it consumes 50 stacks of tempest rhythm and startles enemies within 16 yards causing them to take two percent increased damage per stack for 20 seconds you get 50 stacks at two percent that's another 100 percent bonus damage so that can be a viable build. You guys can see this guy that was playing it. He was actually ranked six, which cleared a 146 with this build. Now he did have high Paragon. And just as a heads up, it's gonna be not easy to play the Wrath build, especially if you manually cast Ren. Uh, but hey, if you really wanna challenge, go for it. I would say it's gonna be a great starter build for uh, the next season. And the reason why is it's gonna be part of Hadrix Gift. But you can see even that giant Shockwave, they actually gave us a 10X multiplier on the giant Shockwave that comes out. It's still doesn't one shot everything so i would say if you guys are looking to be competitive you're still going to be probably playing the older barbarian build which is the one where it just sucks everything in even if you want to play hammer of the angels hitting in all directions doesn't really matter and i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the gameplay of the uh, barbarian where we are going to be sucking everything in this is still going to be the current dominant build for pushing the leaderboards and even though the Hammer of the Ancients, it's satisfying to see that giant shockwave, if you're pushing in the higher section of the game, it's not going to do enough damage to realistically matter. And on top of that, you actually will probably still get more damage off of doing the Whirlwind build because it's going to suck up everything, clumping everything together, and that massive amount of area damage that you can get is so huge, especially on the Rift Guardian. In fact, let's go to the Rift Guardian gameplay uh, for this one. You guys can see that every 10th Shockwave, it's not really doing that much damage. This is only a GR100, so I would say maybe against Rift Guardians to, you know, give them some feedback, it could do a little bit more damage on Rift Guardians. That could be something that they could consider, or maybe a percentage. That way, it's a little bit more incentivizing to actually play it, because what I find very interesting is we are doing a Hammer of the Ancients build. However, we're not using the brand new sanctified angelic you know power for the hammer of the ancients we're still using the whirlwind pole so then we can give them a big slam so uh that's at least my feedback i'm curious to know what you guys think about the new uh barbarian build uh with either the wrath of the berserker i feel like the wrath of the berserker you can play in anything but um it's just satisfying playing both different builds they are both different and if you're just looking to do like i know some people just like to do t16s maybe like gr 100s hey play whatever one you find to be the most fun because they're both about the same in terms of the speed i would say whirlwind has a lot more potential to be a lot faster uh, if you're just looking to do T16 though, you can play Wrath of the Wastes and actually get stuff done really fast. Plus, since it is going to be the start of the Hadrig's Gift like season journey, a lot of people will be interested in playing the Wastes in the very beginning. Then they are more likely to transition into the LOD Barbarian, which you guys are seeing here, which is going to be the most dominant one. And if you're wondering the runes and stuff like that in terms of a build guide, I'll be dropping that pretty soon, but it's basically going to be a fire, at least as of right now. But clumping up all those enemies and releasing that big giant hammer, it's super satisfying. But I think the shockwave is definitely fun too. Just that massive screen clear sometimes 
is awesome to see. But let me know, guys, what you think they should change, if anything, with the Barbarian. I think it's in a pretty good spot right now. Um, again, I just think that uh, even though we're running Hammer of the Ancients, it's weird that we're still playing Whirlwind. But I like this idea, though, because the gameplay feels really cool and it feels kind of more unique, and I do like that. So credit to them for that. Uh, but Barbarian's looking pretty good for the next season, especially with the season journey start, because again, you get Wrath of the Waste, which is really good. It can clean up T16 super fast. That way you can start getting your upgrades, start upgrading your LOD. Then you can play the brand new Hammer of the Ancients build. But anyways, that's my feedback. I'll be dropping build guides very soon. Uh, once they release the next set of patch notes, I don't believe we're getting another update to actually play in the PTR, but there's going to be, I think, one more round of like patch notes, and then the new season will be coming out. And it's ending, I believe, August 8th for the PTR. So maybe like two to three weeks after that, we'll be able to drop uh, more uh, info on this. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on your way out. And if you're new here and do want to see more in the future, hit subscribe, turn the bell to see more action RPGs and other gaming content. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.